Hello, this is Ashraf from Mr. Ashraf Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to create a path animations in the Blender. To do that, we you must have an object. I will be using this ice cream truck as my object, and I will create path by using curve and you can select any of these paths i'm going to use path okay once you have a path okay you can edit the size you can decide the scale okay and you can rotate on z axis okay and you can go to edit mode and you can see that in edit mode of a path it have this kind of shapes okay it have the and what says okay and you can okay next once i have path i'm going i'm going to resize and i'm going to edit mode and i'm going to do some tweaking you can select the vertex on path you can do you can press g and you can move on x axis and you can see that the curve so what i want i'm going to do now is i'm going to create an animations whereby this foot this ice cream truck will travel and follow this path okay once you have constructed the path then object mode select your object or your vehicles and make sure that your vehicles are located in zero 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 locations okay so to do that just go to alternate G so make sure that it's the pivot point of your vehicle or your object is in the 000, zero coordinates okay. yeah. locations right. and then select your object go to object constraints modifier here constraint modifier and add object constraints to your object and select follow path it's under relationships column and select follow path once you do that okay make sure the target that you're going to select is the nerf path that we have created just now and then you can see your vehicles are located at the first point. Okay. In my case, it's suited, located there because my path is showing the arrows is like that. Okay. So it's okay. And then you have to select follow curve. But the problem is now my ice cream truck is facing to the other side. Okay, so to do that, to fix that, you have to play with this forward options. Okay, it's in this one is facing Y, so let's go negative Y. Yep. Okay. By default, it's facing Y. So now you, you have to try. Okay. Negative Y. So yeah. So what is happening now? You press space. Press space. It's nothing is happening. Okay. Because you have to click animate tab. And then you press space. So now your object is moving. Okay. 
by following the path that you have created just now. Next, we are going to make a movement. Okay, now we're going to create a timing, slot in and slot out. Okay, to do that, select the object, go to fixed positions, and nothing will happen. Okay, you have to see the, this offset. Okay, offset 0.00, .00 means that the car is starting from here, and if we increase to full offset, we can be like this. Okay, 1.00 the car will be here. Okay, let's mean that if we go to frame one, set to frame one, okay, and then offset is 0.00, .00 you right click. Sorry, right click insert keyframe here and then let's say you want to make your animations travel in 120 frames okay and then at 120 you make the offset is to 1.00 and you create another keyframe insert keyframe Right click insert keyframe. It means that at the frame one, the offset is zero. At the frame one hundred twenty, the offset is uh, one point zero. Is really finish in one hundred twenty. You can, you can. Maybe you if you want to change from one hundred twenty, you want to change to keyframe to one hundred sixty. You just press G, select the keyframe and press G and move, so it will travels in 160 frames okay all right so let's go back in 120 frames finishing 120 travel that okay yeah okay next is Next is change this editor type from timeline to graph editor. Okay, and you will see. Let's go to the image, and you will see. And then you will see this kind of graph. Okay. You press home button on your keyboard. So you can see this is curve. This curve represents the animations of your objects. Okay. In this case, my foot track, ice cream track. So we will see that it will start slowly and we go moving and we will end here at frame 120. So you can adjust this. Let's say you want to at frame twenty. You insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframe, and you will have this kind of dot here. Okay. Then you try to play, you press G and you try to increase at frame 20, okay, like that, and you play with the handler, and then you see what will happen. Okay, it's showing that it's that this area is moving forward very fast and slow down at this curve. Okay, so maybe you can change this like that. And you play with the handler and you do like this what will happen it's going down and this one will be showing the slow movement okay so maybe you can change this you can play with the handler okay and then, yep 
that. This is the render for frame 37. Right. And then let's add few. Just the positions of the path is being created because my path is sloping like that. I don't want it's not supposed to be like that. Alright, so that is animations. Okay, so now you can render. When you want to render, few things that you have to take into consideration is first is uh, your resolutions. Okay, first sorry, first is your render engine where either you want to go for EV, workbench or cycles. Okay, EV will be will be faster, but cycle will be have uh, more details okay and then your resolutions okay i'm i'm going to use hd resolutions 1920 pixels times with 1080 pixels but i'm going to reduce the percent of the resolutions from 100 just to 50 percent just to save my time all right and then this is very important frame start and frame ends okay you have to uh, decide by default it will uh, render full frame 200 and from frame 1 until frame 220 but in this animation i'm just going to render from frame 1 until frame this animation until frame 50 until, until frame 60 okay this is very important okay so we just render from here to here okay and frame rate is 24 frames per second uh, output is where you want to save your animations your render you create your own folder in whatever folder that you want and then you give name and then you press accept and file format you have to change from by default it is in png change from png to ffmpeg video and then at the in the encoding uh, encoding here you change the container to match roca match roca okay and then the rest you leave it for now you leave as a default and then you go at the render menu button here and make sure you render animations okay and then it will start to rendering frame by frames Right, this render from frame one, and then we continue with frame two, three, and then frame fifty. Okay, you see this here. This is the vehicles. Oh, it's quite fast there. Because it's just sixty frames. It's just about two seconds. All right.
second. All right, so that's it. Uh, the tutorial on how to create <coughs> path animations in the blender. Until see you again in the next video. Bye bye.